Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play by me, the game of 6 of Fallout New Vegas. On the last Let's Play, hmm, I think this guy gives us the only time quest I know of in the game. Uh, for a sec, on the last Let's Play, we found out that Edie has something to do with the Enclave, helped a uh, broker negotiation between the NCR and the Great Cons, at least between a small group of them, and also did a uh, usually good with faces. side quests. But I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? Support. Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault Three. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Yeah, on top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Huh, I think this is the time quest. You have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. Okay. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You've found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. Okay. Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on Annex in New Vegas. That's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers, and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. Now we're trying to secure the Strip and the Dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent. But I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the guy. Hmm. So I guess I know what we're gonna be Why doing not? for these couple of let's plays. Maybe a recent arrival. At least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Uh... Hmm. It's our main base. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the Strip. And it had already been fortified before the Great War. From here, we handle most of the logistics for our operations in Nevada. Troop allocation, supply distribution, intel. Usually, General Oliver runs the show here. But he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. It sounds like they've run into overwhelming resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn Hope to look into it, and see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. Everything was going according to President Campbell's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers, but our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the Strip, and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, 
So will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. You okay? Bye. So, let's uh, put that quest on. up and I have like about three days. Wait, what am I supposed to go up there? Let's go up that way first. Even though for some reason it says to go that way. Hmm. Not here. You guys? What's up? Oh, that's not the place. I know he's got Why does that look so disheveled? I guess she's downstairs. You person? Boyd's in there with a the prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. Yep. You stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Yeah. Not big on reading name tags, huh? Well, you it's don't okay. have one right here. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. Yes. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's Legion recently. Yeah. Better believe it. Everybody, everybody in Caesar's Legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Uh. Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. Uh... I've tried calling him hurtful names. Let's do that. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There's some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So you want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Okay. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. It's really that somehow you have glass here. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. Oh, no one well rested. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. You know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow 
or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the caller you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. Okay. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. Hello. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? <laughs> You're nothing. You're some inept mercenary the NCR is paying to supplement its own incompetent soldiers. No, listen. Kaisar's secrets are safe with me. I stayed alive because Kaisar would have wanted it. I'm useless to him dead. Oh, you made me angry. I've told them nothing. They've gotten nowhere. I'm a Kenturian for Christ's sake. I deserve his trust. You have to let this go. I'll disappear. No one will ever see me again. That was always the plan in the first place. No, that's not what I meant. I... Lieutenant, this man is trying to kill me. He's not who you think he is. Uh... Let's finish this up. Then we can talk. All that shouting. Honestly, Silas, you get free room and board. The least you could do is be a good guest. Lieutenant, this man is an agent of the Legion on a mission to kill me. My, we have an active imagination today, don't we? Think about it. Is it worth the risk? You need what I know. Well, it sounds like the two of you are becoming fast friends. It'll be your head if I die, Lieutenant. You'll be disgraced. You know what? I think you're right, Silus. Of course I'm right. Except, I don't care, because it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to never have to hear you say another word, Silus. Carry on. Lieutenant. Did I really have to re-equip all those things? You don't have to do this. If I had killed myself, then I would have been murdering one of Kaisar's greatest soldiers. Either choice is a betrayal of the Legion, as I see it. I've done everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days, never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability to command. I haven't breathed a word about the officer we planted here. He continues to radio intelligence to Kaisar's camp nearly every night. I've proven my loyalty. All you're doing is killing a loyal soldier. If that's Kaisar's policy, then I say his empire will crumble. <laughs> it would be fun to just do that. Oh, I guess the jig's up. What? What do you mean? No, you slimy bastard. 
Nothing I've said will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. This camp and everyone in it will burn. Okay. Oh, so can I switch to thing where I can talk to her? Hey, we'll talk to the person downstairs first. It seems to really want me to talk to them. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last leave went cold weeks ago. You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes on the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrisoned, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that, and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Okay, boy. Time to go back upstairs, I guess. Really? How'd you do that? You. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him. And I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. Okay. Now what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Okay, I think that's everything. So, we just have that over there. Which is... Okay. Just out that door? I guess it is. Uh, what happened here? So. Oh, I guess that's the wrong door. Yeah, I'm 
want to mainline this quest. Eat. Uh, oh. Okay. The airplane looks okay, I guess. So let's safety save. And then wait till nighttime. Snake a snake, snake, snake. We're all very sneaky. First time I did this, I actually failed. Don't they have a big thing? Guess it's not that time of night. What was the thing? Okay, I guess that time wouldn't be that late. Neat planes. I don't want to fly in them. Interius Picus, over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 4, Picus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. 10 4. Keep us updated. 10 4. Yeah, I probably should have a gun out to shoot him. Mm, shotgun. Oh wait, that's not a shotgun. There we go. Sup? What are you doing here? You don't have clearance. I have clearance for catching spies. I don't know what you mean. Oh my. Oops. Which one's the? Heat. On sec. Jesus, that guy melted. Uh, you'd think I'd have enough stuff to be able to, you know, me. Yeah, well, hey. Fine by me. Uh, here's a beret, and this, well, you can't have that. Uh, Merc, NCR thingamajig. That stuff. Okay, let's get going. What's a quest? Warn somebody or do it? Okay. I should go straight for that thing. Ugh. Too bad I'm a slow ass mother. Actually, we might save some time if we undo that. 
I don't know if having higher agility stats might uh, make me go faster. Bomb! There's a bomb here! Bomb, ba bomb, bomb! Probably the only time it's okay to say bomb in an airport setting. Okay. Edie! Uh. The train is about to depart. Uh, that ain't good. I feel jet. There we go. That wasn't a long time at all. I mean, maybe it just took too much time to shoot, but it's like, eh. Yeah. Oh, did it crash? You gotta love Bethesda games, how, or especially this one, how it just crashes all the time. Oh, the science. Okay, science savey. I'd hate to be the person that would get all the way here and be like, oh, hell. I guess you got the code. But man, that is not a long time to get over there. I blame the system. Even... I was on the thing, too. You got something to you, say, you or hear? do you always okay. look like that? What, naked? So. Yes, what is it? Eh, uh, there's a bomb. No? What happened? Curtis? He's been in the NCR long before our conflict with the Legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explained a lot. This is much worse than anyone expected. There could be others, too. You've done everything that was asked of you. Give my personal thanks for this. I'll make sure you receive the credit you deserve. Eat. Bye. Yeah, Baton. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess now it's time to go around and find somebody to sell stuff to. Because we're almost out of time, give or take. <sighs> I'm sorry for, again, that cut. It's like, geez. They don't really give you a lot of time to do anything. Uh, sorry, my brain was farts. Uh, but yeah. Like, the game does kind of seem to be very crash happy. Got anything? Never seen you around before. What do you want? Some place to sell stuff. Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobets keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, Sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Yeah. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. What gave me away? 
The big gun, the shades, or the attitude? Mm, big gun. Yup, a lot of people make that connection. Big gun, sniper. Some people don't even need to ask. <laughs> yeah, right. You're sniffing up the wrong skirt. Try me again when you're tall, blonde, and female. You can do that. Yeah, try not to get killed. Okay, I'm gonna go sell stuff. Uh, and maybe try and put something in my head? Where is that one place? There we go. Maybe strength so I can actually move things around easily enough? Man, it sucks when the game crashes. It also sucks when my brain not work good. You're back. Okay, sell some things. I have reserved a small. Eat. You like Legion armor, right? Yeah, and like pistols and whatnot. Maybe that many. Yeah, we can sell that that older one. And that. Okay. Apparently she can't get the rebar club or something. Okay. There we go. Eat. And I want to buy an implant. All right. Uh, greater strength. I'd like to be able to carry more stuff. Or, yeah. I can implant the hypertrophy accelerator for 4,000 caps. It will boost your adrenal glands and quickly increase your muscle mass. Yeet. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. A oh, question. Do you have, like, more bottle caps I can get from you? You're back. Ha! What, did she put the caps in my head? Uh, we should probably find some other place to sell stuff and then call it. Morning. Yeah. Outpost? Yeah. We can go there. I mean, what do you think? Comment down below whether or not it seemed a bit jipped that I only had, like, would seem to be a couple of seconds. Where's Drinky Boy? Oh, there he is. Feeling thirsty? No, feeling like I need to sell stuff. Boy, you do not have lots. No, we don't need anti venom. Could probably do without that. Or those. Or that. Everything? No, we can sell that. We can sell these dirty waters. Eh, we could sell two of those doctor bags. Don't really use them, really. Mm, keep those things. We'll sell that. Um, I keep that. Mm, I'm going to keep that purified water. Is there anything? Eh, keep that. Mm, keep that. Mm, keep that. And keep that, actually, since it gets me that charisma. Uh, ooh. How is it? Uh, I don't know. So, hmm. 49 damage versus what? 25. And there's a good many weights. We could get rid of some of these things. I never seem to use them. Mm. Oh wait, there's that thing too. We might keep that. I don't know. 
I see no talkie. Fine by me. Uh, I'll take that beret. We should really think about those things. Stuff that I could wear, you know? And do you want that big heavy thing? Morning. <laughs> Morn. Let's see if I can wear that. Like it's better. Twelve, two, eh. I don't want that. Nah, we'll sell it. And then we'll call it. Feeling thirsty? I'm really surprised how often this game seems to crash. It's just like... Oh. It's just like, really? I mean, I guess we could keep that for a while. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah. We're good. So let's see what... So what... That... Ba... Stumble over a word. Let's uh, go back to that one town. Sleep the sleep of a lot of sleeps. And put something there. And then kill it. And think about what we're going to be doing for our next Let's Play. Maybe uh, do the Crimson Caravan thing? Let's see. Take a while. That wouldn't be easy. I guess I just talked to her. Yeah, we'll do that next, I guess. Yeah. We'll try that. So, anyways, comment, because like, comment, say what you like, dislike, tips, or otherwise. Again, I feel bad about, you know. Saves coming, maybe? Hmm, well rested. Yay. Uh, like, subscribe, and check out other videos if you want to help my YouTube grow. I mean, I'm a land or neuter animals to help control the pet's population. Yes. And until next time, let's wait by me, Game of Woo 6 of Fallout New Vegas. See ya.